Welcome back to the truck stop, everybody. Hopefully you guys are having a fantastic freaking day. My day is going fantastic. Look at the absolute gorgeous view. If the camera's shaking, I 1,000% apologize. I'm doing everything in my power to keep this little thing situated, figured out, and all that uh, jazz. But look at the view. How freaking gorgeous is Western Wyoming, Eastern Idaho. I mean, look at this. This is absolutely amazing. But anywho, so I know a bunch of you uh, are dr uh, truck drivers, all right? Um, and, and, and I know a bunch of you are, you guys know truck drivers. I want to basically just remind or give a, a, a piece of advice, all right? I don't know if, if you'd want to really call this a quote-unquote tip or what have you, but it's, it's just something that I think uh, we here at the truck stop really need to talk about because I've been seeing it more and more and more and more and more lately. Mountain driving, all right? Climbing mountains, climbing hills, and falling off of them, all right? Uh, so basically, my tip is, all right, you don't need to be the first one up. There's always somebody going to be empty that's going to blow your dang doors off. All right? So let's let's get that out of the way. Going up a mountain, you don't need to be the first one. Just do what you can do and be safe. Get to the top. All right? Now, once you're up to the top, this is the most important because going up is not bad. You know, even if the, like this road here is all wet, I don't know if it, it comes across on the camera, but if the road is snow covered and stuff like that, especially if, if you're over here in the Rockies, because they have chain laws over here in the Rockies, you have to, you just be careful. Just do what the truck can do and, you know, you'll, you'll get to the top. Now, once you're at the top, dropping off or going down you know, a, a steep grade or, you know, a mountain or, or, or a really large hill, what have you, that's where the life and death comes into play. It is stupid, stupid important. Oh, looks like we got a wreck up here. We're going to slow down. Right lane closed. And there is only one lane, so that must mean... Uh, we're going over to oncoming traffic, but basically coming down is going to be the life or death situation. Um, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Wow. Hopefully that driver's okay. Wow. Um, Wow, okay, um, getting back to the, the dropping off a hill. Basically, take your time. It's not, let me repeat myself, it is not a race to get to the bottom, all right? Uh, if you burn your brakes up, and yes, my friends, you can still burn your brakes up even with the new discs on the trucks, all right? So for you guys that didn't know, trucks for many, 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 many decades have always been drum. So basically there's a great big metal piece with two big pads pushing against it. That was our braking system. All right, those were prone to overheating very quickly 
especially, especially if you are going down a large steep grade with a heavy load on, all right? Now, a lot of the trucks have gone to the disc brakes, the modern brakes. They're a little bit better, but they still overheat, all right? You have to remember, we're 80,000 pounds fully loaded. You know, our empty weight is anywhere from 25 to 35,000 pounds, all right? I mean, that's 16 tons and more, give or give or take, you know. But anywho, just slow down. There is absolutely, absolutely no reason for you to have to go. I mean, if the speed limit is 25, do 25. It, it shows. You know, it, it, it's not, oh, you've got to do, you know, 55 like the cars. Oh, you jerk. You just got my window all messy. You jerk. Um, but, anywho, <laughs> oh my god, okay, seriously, thanks, dude, thanks, uh, and am I running out of piss or flute? No, there we go, there we go, all right. <laughs> I can see clearly now, the dirt's off my face. Anyways, um, use your Jake brake, if, even if it says, no Jake brakes, I'm sorry, then build a different road around said drop-off. I mean, come on, people. If you put a road down a great big canyon or up a great big mountain, and then you expect truck drivers to not use their jakes going down? Shut up. Just shut up. <laughs> All right? Um, take your time. Go slow. It don't matter if you're five minutes late or two weeks late. It don't matter if you're five minutes ahead of schedule or 50 minutes ahead of schedule. It don't matter. Just slow down. You know, use your Jake brakes going down. Don't hold your brakes. All right? That's the one thing I have found... Uh, a lot of new people will do is they will lightly drag their brakes as far as they can. And this camera is now focusing on that silly wet ring right at the top. Ay, ay, ay. But you, you're on your brakes, you get off your brakes. You're on your brakes, and you get off your brakes. That's, that's how you make them last the longest. If you remember your training from school, I didn't go to school, I learned from a book and basically experience, that is what you're supposed to do. All right, you go slow, you don't have to use your brakes. If you go slow enough, your, your uh, Jake brake will hold you back. Anyways, hopefully this uh, 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 I, I'm, I'm not gonna say tip. Whoa, 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 whoa. God dang camera. Anyways, hopefully this tip or, or this, uh, advice, I'm gonna call it advice, um, helps you out a lot. Like I said, just go slow. You don't have to be the first one up and you don't have to be the first one down. If you guys have any comments or suggestions or anything like that, please feel free to leave a comment. All right. Uh, if you guys enjoyed the video, go ahead and show your support like you normally do. Hit that thumbs up. If you guys are new around here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Grab your front row parking here at the truck stop. And while we call it front row, that's because you're parked right next to the building. You don't have to walk as far. Thanks for hanging out today. I've got to go. Look at that view. Look at the view, people.